Hello beautiful, uh, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider to subscribe. We are on our long journey to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please, I would really, really appreciate it if you would help me get there. So don't forget to give this video also a thumbs up. In today's video, <laughs> this video, I was not sure I'm gonna make it. I'm not, I was not sure I want to do this video, but it kind of pushed me. It kind of pushed me, um, the, the, the audacity uh, and the prices of these products pushed me to a limit that I've never experienced before. So we're talking in today's video about Hourglass. We're gonna try, I bought one of their singles. Yes, I did. And also I bought one of the Urban Decay singles as well. They're both into like, um, they're both like, uh, they're both purple shades that I really wanted to try and test out. And I wanted to compare them with different uh, um, formulas. And I wanted to see what is so different about their formulas that it's worth the price that they're asking for, or if it's worth the price that they're asking for. You know what I mean? Is it a wow or is it a now? <laughs> so there we go. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So please continue watching. All right, so I'm here with both of them because, I mean, damn, you know, um, my hand was shaking when I was purchasing this, um, but I bought both of them in two shades of purple. Um, and I have a bunch of other eyeshadows here that I want to like swatch next to it to see how it is. But first of all, let's just talk about this, okay? This is absolutely insane to pay $29 for one eyeshadow. This is just the one eyeshadow. It doesn't have the component or anything like that. It's just the eyeshadow. It is $29, $29 for this one, okay? Um, I don't know what eyeshadow palette can have in it and can be so amazing that is worth $29. This is how it looks like, the pan, and I have mine in fog, um, and it's supposed to be a metallic shade. Girl, this is insane. This is insane, but I'm going to try to be very, very very honest in today's video and not be biased in any shape or form and not think about the price that much and just kind of see the quality in itself. It's just something that we should pay a little bit more attention to or if we can find similar quality for a better price. So this is, like I said, fog. This is how it looks like on the finger. And this is how it swatches on the hand. So here it is. I only put it a little bit. I didn't touch it too much. So that's why you can't see much. But from the get-go, when I touch it, it's really, really nice feeling when you touch it. It's very soft. It doesn't have glitter in it. So that's uh, really nice, especially if you have sensitive eyes. Here I went in a little bit more. And I'm just going to go above that. And there you go. This is the swatch. It's a nice, beautiful color. Um, very pretty. The way it swatches, the way it looks. It feels really beautiful. It doesn't feel any grittiness or anything like that. It's a nice, beautiful shade. Now, if you had told me this is $29, I would have said, you're crazy. Why would I pay $29 on this one? It doesn't, doesn't have anything that kind of wows me in any shape or form, other than the fact that it feels really, really soft when you touch it. That's, that's the only thing that kind of makes me, hmm, wait a second, we have something in here, right? So I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take a brush and try to put it on. I'm gonna go with this brush that is from uh, Morphe. And this is supposed to be for um, things like this, 
for shadows like this that are metallics. I know a lot of times people say you should go in with your finger, but I want to test it with the brush first. So as you can see, I have to go in multiple times to get the payoff that I want. Does it, does it lays nice? Yes, it does. Very, very nice on the, uh, on the lid. I'm going to go with my finger though, because I want to have it a little bit more popping a little bit more. So when I went into the store, I do like how this looks right now, but when I went into the store, I tried the mats as well. The mats were not good. The mats were dry and they were very patchy. So I would be really upset if I would have paid $29 for one of the mats and be that dry and be that that patchy but i'm not gonna say more about that because that's a different thing i have not purchased a mat but look how this looks like right it's very simple very easy to put on the eyelid it's nice enough to just go with just this color on your eyelid and call it a day does it look beautiful absolutely is it gorgeous yes it is but is this worth the price tag? No, it's not. And then let's go and do some comparison because the minute I seen this, I thought about my Pat McGrath, the mini one. This is the Eye Ecstasy Subversive and it has this uh, purple shade right in here. That I'm gonna go really quickly after. And this is how that one looks like. And I'm going to go right next to it. It's a little bit different, but check the way it reflects, right? The one from uh, Pat McGrath, it definitely has a little bit more reflection. And it looks a little bit more dual chrome as well. And it has a little bit more vibrancy to it. That's what I like. If I'm going to pay a lot of money for something like that, I want something that has a lot of payoff. So that's one, right? Let's talk about, let's, let's say Pat McGrath, it's an expensive brand. Um, of course, it's going to have like a really uh, beautiful um, swatch, right? Still, Pat McGrath is cheaper per, um, <laughs> per shade than... Um, than hourglass at the moment it is but one other shade that kind of came into my mind when i was looking at this shade and i i went with purple specifically because purple is a really difficult shade to create that's what a lot of people talk about and i thought about this eyeshadow palette that i have from abh that is in uh, collaboration with Alyssa edwards and i have this ddc color in here that is absolutely freaking gorgeous and amazing and i'm gonna go with this one right next to it so we can see this is gorgeous this is absolutely gorgeous so we can see if that it's uh looking better or worse than hourglass so look at that look just have a look right uh you tell me i feel like ABH color, it's absolutely beautiful. It just it melts into your, um, onto your skin. It also has impact, like a lot of impact. And it's just mm, so, so good. I'm not saying it's worse uh, or our hourglass is worse than ABH, but I feel like ABH has almost the same the same effect like this one it feels the same on the touch and it looks just a little bit more impactful than hourglass one let's continue on with our swatches and let's go to this eyeshadow palette from colourpop which is the sailor moon one and i have this purple right here that i absolutely love and i play with it every time i can this is called Luna and this definitely is a little bit more um, crumbly but 
but look how beautiful this looks right there look how beautiful that looks as well so it's kind of hard for me to just kind of say you know um hourglass truly did it because I feel like it didn't. I feel like this is a little bit insane. If it was a formula, that's why I went and purchased it because if it was a formula that I have never seen and I have never touched in my entire life and I just been blown away by it, I that's why I went in to purchase it. That's why I went in to touch the touch it in the store and just kind of get a little bit of feeling an idea of how it is. And it's not living up to the hype at all, at all. All right, next in here, I have Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. And I have this one right here that is called Fling, but also I have Pink Diamond. So I'm gonna go with both of them. I'm gonna go with Fling. Fling actually feels even better than, um, than Hourglass one. There you go, look at that. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. And I'm gonna go with a uh, pink diamond as well. I'm gonna put it right here next to Hourglass. I mean, right here next to the Colourpop one. But yeah, look at that, right? So here's how all these looks like. You tell me if you feel like this it's something that is worth $29 for one shade. Is it worth it? Like, and also, have you seen the pan? The pan is tiny. The pan has, how many, how much it has in it? 0 to, uh, um, 0.03 ounces or one gram of product. That's all you get. That's all you get. Now, a few weeks before Hourglass announced their outrageous prices for their new loose shades or single shades before that urban decay came out and said we're gonna have single shades that are gonna go uh for 19 dollars each or 22 dollars for like special shades right and i bought a one also to just kind of convince myself that this it's worth to uh, purchase more or it's not now i'm gonna tell you when i went into the store and i felt this and i put it on my my uh hand i was a little bit shocked so this is definitely a um what do you call it a formula that it has a very very buttery soft and beautiful beautiful look to it now i'm not sure if it's gonna be worth it but we're gonna see it today at least this one comes like this so you actually have a place where it sits and it stays there it's secure not like that one at least you have some sort of package with this one right so let's start with that all right so let's go and try this one on this one it is called free bird free bird okay so i'm gonna put it right over here this one it's gorgeous it's right on the side right there so this one is absolutely gorgeous i love the fact that it's like it's a, like, a, like a cream shadow, but it's not cream. It's actually cream and maybe like a cream to powder, powder shadow, which has a really nice sheen to it. And it's so, so pretty. It doesn't have any sparkles in it, but it's the same thing with um, this one from uh, Hourglass. It doesn't necessarily have any sparkle in it, but then if you look at the one from ABH, that one does not necessarily have sparkle in it either all right so let's try it again let's try with the brush i'm gonna clean the brush first and i'm gonna put this one on this other eye
Again, it doesn't necessarily work well when you use the brush. So I'm gonna try the finger. And this is how it looks on the eyelid. Very beautiful shade. But again, nothing extremely impressive other than the way it feels when you touch it. It's nothing extraordinary about it because you have all these options. When you have all these options in the same store you're selling this, I don't know how many people are gonna purchase your product. You have to be like a really crazy fan uh, to want to pay that much money for it. Let me tell you, it is not worth the price. For either of them, it's not worth the price. I gave you all these other options that you can go and look at it and purchase. I'm telling you right now, this it's just insane to me to be asking for a price that high. It is insane. Let me know down below what do you think about this? How? What's your opinion about the fact that these brands are selling these two uh, single shadows for that much? Let me know down below. I really want to hear from you. But this is it for today. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening to me and i cannot wait to see you all next time bye now